Associated Press, Aurora Rose, Patrick McMullen via Getty Images in between tweeting about the mass shooting in Odessa, Texas, and the Category 5 hurricane approaching the Atlantic coast of the U.S., President Donald Trump tweeted about Wool. On Saturday, Messing tweeted her support for a Birmingham, Alabama Baptist Church sign that read, A black vote for Trump is mental illness on one side and a white vote for Trump is pure racism on the other, Messing also tweeted asking The Hollywood Reporter to print a list of attendees at an upcoming Beverly Hills Trump fundraiser during Emmys week that the president is set to make an appearance at Fox. He says once, profusely thanked him and called him, Sir, at an event for his reality series, The Apprentice, because it helped NBC's then, failed lineup greatly. Visit Business Insider's homepage for more stories. President Donald Trump shared an anecdote about Wool. On Saturday, Messing posted two tweets that, Fox, in response to an article about a Baptist church sign in Birmingham that read, a black vote for Trump is mental illness on one side and a white vote for Trump is pure racism on the other. She also quote tweeted a Hollywood Reporter article about an upcoming Trump fundraiser in Beverly Hills during the week of the Emmys and asked for a name of attendees to be published. Many in our country have been infected with Trump derangement syndrome, a Fox, suggesting that she and her will. I have not forgotten that when it was announced that I was going to do The Apprentice, and when it then became a big hit, helping NBC's failed lineup greatly, at Deborah Messing came up to me at an upfront. Robin Platzer, Phil Magic, Bill DeVilla, Phil Magic in 2004, the president's reality TV series, The Apprentice, premiered on NBC, which also aired both the original run of Wool. An Upfront is a gathering of TV network stars, advertisers, and executives as the start of an advertising sales period, usually to present whatever slate of shows and content will be airing on the network. Messing has yet to respond to the president's anecdote online, let's block ads. Why? 